Hello and welcome to another edition of America's Horse News. I'm Billy Lofton. Coming up in this week's episode, we'll preview the NCHA's 50th Anniversary World Championship Futurity. Plus, we'll honor this year's 50-year breeders and recap the CMSA World Championships. That and much more, including important deadlines you don't want to miss, it's all coming up on America's Horse News. The National Cutting Horse Association is gearing up for its 50th anniversary World Championship Futurity. We urge you to start making plans for an exciting equine vacation. While you're there, enjoy the culture and many attractions of the host city. NCHA and the Fort Worth Convention and Visitors Bureau have an incredible package of attractions and competitions for you to enjoy. Featured in this three-week show, of course the Staples, the Mercuria NCHA World Finals, the Neiman Marcus NCHA Futurity Champions Cup, and the Borden Milk NCHA Futurity. But spectators and visitors will also enjoy a chance to take home a future cutting champion at the Western Bloodstock Cells. An opportunity to participate in a clinic with world-renowned horseman Pat Pirelli, view a celebrity cutting, enjoy a chance to meet the legendary Buster Welch, and you can't forget about the two Dallas Cowboys home games and country western star Michael Martin Murphy's Cowboy Christmas, performed at the exquisite Bass Performance Hall. Again, start making plans now to travel to Fort Worth, Texas from November 21st through December 10th for the Borden Milk NCHA 50th Anniversary World Championship Futurity. For more information, to book travel, hotels, purchase tickets, and more, visit the site on your screen, futurity50.com. Recently, the American Quarter Horse Association honored 26 breeders from across North America. The 2011 50-Year Breeders Banquet honored cumulative award recipients and legacy award recipients for 50 consecutive years of breeding American Quarter Horses. This year's 50-Year Cumulative Breeders include S.A. Baxter of Bend, Texas, Merle and Marlene Flynn of St. George, Kansas, Burdette L. Johnson of Shell Rock, Iowa, Robert L. McElhatton of Bozeman, Montana, Mississippi State University, Palmer Quarter Horses of Durango, Colorado, T.S. Herefords and Quarter Horse Ranch of Cottonwood Falls, Kansas, C.F. Vitatow of Emory, Texas, Keith Zimmerman of Harrison, Nebraska, Jake E. Braun and Sons of Beachy, Saskatchewan, Jerry and Joan Wynn of Bethany, Missouri, Lightning Seven Horse Company of Quanah, Texas, Jake M. Dial of Livingston, Alabama, and Robert W. Apperson of Welch, Oklahoma. The 2011 Legacy Award honorees included Donald S. Gardner Jr. of Opelousas, Louisiana, Beryl and Daryl Wagner of Padroni, Colorado, John R. Anderson of Gell, Texas, Billy Cook of Greenville, Texas, Stanley Glover of Avondale, Colorado, Mrs. Marion W. Hansen of Ashland, Montana, R.J. Henderson of Bloomfield, New Mexico, Robert C. Norris of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Donald O'Brien of Pineville, Missouri, Pennsylvania State University, Phipps Land and Livestock, Inc. of Whitman, Nebraska, and finally B.A. Sipes Family of Norman, Oklahoma. AQHA congratulates all of you for your distinguished honor as an American quarter horse breeder. Last week, the Cowboy Mounted Shooting Association held their annual World Championships in Amarillo, Texas. CMSA is one of our newest alliance partners, and Cowboy Mounted Shooting became an improved AQHA event starting January 1, 2011. All stages or classes at the CMSA World Championships were AQHA World Show qualifying classes. From rifles to Colt revolvers, CMSA members took aim at the 2011 World Championship and AQHA World Show qualifying points. This year's AQHA top hands were Chad Little of St. Michael, Minnesota with GBH Stringwood Snippy. AQHA top cowgirl was Jesse Kuka of Maple Plain, Minnesota with her gelding PLC Newt Driftwood. The AQHA top youth horse went to Who's Lucky Houdini, ridden by Nicholas Black of Boise, Idaho. This year was the first year for Cowboy Mounted Shooting Association members to earn AQHA points for the 2012 Pfizer Versatility Ranch Horse and Cowboy Mounted Shooting AQHA World Championship Show. A few quick important notes. Youth interested in applying for American Quarter Horse Foundation scholarships need to go online to aqha.com foundation to download the guidelines and to apply. Applications are due by December 1st. 
A couple of other important upcoming deadlines to keep in mind. November 30th marks the deadline for AQHA stallion owners to submit annual stallion breeding reports and to nominate stallions to the AQHA Incentive Fund. Again, both deadlines are November 30th. AQHA stallion owners also have a special offer to consider. The American Quarter Horse Journal and the Q Racing Journal have some great deals right now just for stallion owners. Contact Jim Persinger at the number and email on your screen to find out more about these special stallion packages. Viva Las Vegas! If you haven't heard, the amazing South Point Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada will play host to the 2012 American Quarter Horse Association Convention in March. But rooms are already starting to fill up. If you start now and book your reservations prior to February 14, 2012, you'll get a special rate of $99 per room. This will be the 72nd year of the AQHA convention, so don't miss out and start planning today. For a tentative schedule and registration information, visit aqha.com convention. Here is your Built for Tough calendar of events. Coming up right around the corner, it's the Bank of America Amateur FedEx Open AQHA World Show. It runs November 5th through the 19th in Oklahoma City. Visit aqha.com slash worldshow to find the qualifier's handbook, to buy tickets, and to reserve hotels. And don't forget the AQHA World Show Sell, put on by Professional Auction Services. It'll take place Friday, November 18th. As we mentioned earlier, it's the Borden Milk NCHA 50th Anniversary World Championship Futurity. It runs November 21st through December 10th in Fort Worth, Texas. And finally, the NRHA Futurity runs November 24th through December 3rd in Oklahoma City. That was your Built for Tough calendar of events. As always, you can subscribe to or pick up the latest copy of the American Quarter Horse Journal for in-depth stories and calendars with upcoming events. Thanks for watching. For the American Quarter Horse Association, I'm Billy Lofton.